celebrating everything the Coastal Bend has to offer. This is a great place to live, so let's talk about it. Get the scoop on the latest trends, popular fashions, hottest music, exciting events, and so much more. Come on, let's have some fun. This is Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome to Coastal Living. Happy Wednesday. We hope you all had a great start to your week. We're halfway through and your two favorite girls on TV are going to get you through the rest of this week. Jocelyn, how are you feeling today, girl? I am feeling fabulous. The weather has been incredible. And like you said, we're halfway through the week. Let's go. Let's keep it positive and let's, let's yes. get motivated together. We have lots of great things to go over today. Yes, we do. One of them being that, you know, it's getting pretty darn hot outside. We know that these summer months in Texas are no joke. And we talked about it on yesterday's show, but coincidentally, today is National Sunscreen Day. So I felt like we should talk about it again. Guys, if you're watching, it is so important. I don't care what your ethnicity is, what your age is, if you tan well or if you don't. Please, please, please wear sunscreen. This sun is not messing around. And we need to block those harmful rays to prevent skin cancer and premature aging. Am I right, Jocelyn? Oh, 100%. I can't stress that enough, especially for those of us that love to go out in the sun consistently like I do. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I love getting my vitamin D, but we gotta, we gotta play, we have to play it safe as we're playing out in the sun. So, oh, yeah. I mean... I, we always encourage everyone to get outside today, and we're talking about all kinds of great great places here in our beautiful Coastal Bend, where we can spend our time outside. Clarissa, yes. do you have anywhere that you spend your time? Well, you know, I like that you mentioned that because we do. We want to encourage you all to go outdoors, and typically we're saying, like, go for a walk, go for a bike ride. You can just literally go outside and get fresh air and enjoy the scenery. So the other day, funny you should ask, I went out for a bike ride with my sister and my goddaughter and we, we rode our bikes down Oso and we discovered, I'm not, I'm like a comfort zone person. So if I do a trail every day, I stay on the trail. But that day I was feeling adventurous. I saw a cool little nook spot to pull over in. So we pulled over and it just happened to be the perfect time in the evening where the sun was starting to set. Um, this little pier was kind of overlooking um, the Oso and you know, it's just really nice. It was pretty to see the water and the sun setting and the pretty colors in the sky. And we actually sat and had a really nice conversation about life and cute little birds were appearing, you know, beautiful ones that I hadn't seen before. So it was just this impromptu experience where I was able to sit and enjoy nature in a way that I really hadn't done in a while. So I don't know the name of the particular pier, but if anybody out there is watching and goes for regular bike rides down Oso between like Staples and um, Yorktown. There are a couple of spots there, but one of them is just breathtaking for a view. Yeah. Yes, that uh, that sounds absolutely peaceful. Just you explaining it, and I was <laughs> even gonna I was even gonna mention that here in Corpus Christi there are some hidden gems. You know, I like to go to Robes Park on Ocean Drive. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to take photos, especially. Of to go see the sunrise. So we're talking about sunsets and sunrises. And I think that's a great place to go and capture that beautiful photo and just have some time to yourself. That way you don't have to spend a lot of time in these cold and hot sun. So definitely yeah. want to take advantage of our beautiful sunrise and sunsets here in the coastal bend. <laughs> Amen. And I love that you mentioned that because it's a great segue into our um, first interview today. Uh, you know, it's important to go outside and appreciate what South Texas has to offer. We're known for our birds and a bunch of different animals and creatures that live down here exclusively to South Texas. So check out this next segment where you have the opportunity to learn a lot more about the animals that populate South Texas. With me now is Marissa Ford. She is the Executive Director of Wildlife in Focus. Thank you for joining me, Marissa. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So for anyone just tuning in or if it's their first time seeing you, tell us what is Wildlife in Focus? Wildlife in Focus is a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to promote wildlife and habitat conservation here in Texas um, and educate adults and children about it. And there's so much to know. I mean, we have such an interesting habitat here in South Texas from ranches to the beaches and everywhere in between. There's so much to see and so yeah. much to learn about. So tell me about some of the resources that you have available to educate not only children, but adults as well. We have our Critters for Kids program and our Critters for Kids program um, 
goes out to the area schools or basically South Texas schools and the Boys mm -hmm. and Girls Clubs. Um, businesses uh, pro, uh, will donate uh, money toward to having this resource. It goes, it's an online program that the teachers and schools can get. And then the, the schools also are provided with this book, uh, 30 copies of this book to go. Mm -hmm. And some interesting Critters for Kids cards. And the, the Critters for Kids cards come with a games to play. And then the book correlates with the online program and those um, are up to teak standards here in Texas. Wonderful. So, and included in those books, I mean, not only does it make a great coffee table book, uh, something for you yes. to when you're having your morning coffee to learn about our environment, but tell me, where do we gather these photos from? Because there's some absolutely amazing images in this book. Well, every other year we have a photo contest. So on the odd years, we have the photo contest. And that might change, unfortunately, because of everything that we've had going on. Mm -hmm. But last year we had the photo contest. And this year we're in the process of making book 10. Oh, wow. And yes. So the, <clears throat> the photo contest uh, is made up of ranches all over Texas and photographers from all over Texas. A lot of them are from the south here, the, the southern Texas area. And they're, they take pictures of wildlife that is actually, you can find a lot of it in your backyard or just going to a park somewhere mm -hmm. and they bring life to it. So it's like looking, when you look at one of our books, it's like going on a photo safari in your own backyard. So I it's love it. cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's really neat to know that these, all of these creatures can be found where, where we're from, which is really nice. Yes. Right? Like North America, you know, the northern states, we'll never see them here. These are really interesting um, photos. And thank you so much for sending me a little deck of these cards. <laughs> so for those of you who are interested, as you can see, there's some really amazing photos here. And I know we'll pull some up. Um, but I want to get into the Critters for Kids part and the ability that we have with these resources to educate our children. Um, it's so important to understand where you've come from, and I think the wildlife is one of the main things that we could focus on here. So with this, you mentioned that there is a game to play, and I want to use a few minutes to play that game or to talk about our options. So you get this deck of cards correct, with these two sheets, and these have all types of different games that you can play. Now, the cool thing about the cards is on the back, we have all of this information. Now, tell me what we're looking at on the back of these cards, Marissa. Okay, so it gives the scientific name. It gives the description of the animal, its habitat, what it eats, what eats it. So you mm -hmm. can play the food pyramid game. Yeah. Um, its adaptations, uh, the ne its niche, and fun facts about it, and some, and if it's like, uh, endangered or if its status is okay. I love it. And with this, it's so cute because I know my son, when he learns, when he's watching videos, educational videos, or comes home from school with a new fact, he cannot wait to tell me what he learned. And did you know that squirrels are born in the trees? And, and so I think it's really a great resource for our kids to start picking up on things, like I said earlier. And so what you do, guys, if you're wanting to order these and play from home, is you look at the information on the back, um, and just study it with your kids the same way you use flashcards to learn their new words or whatever it might be. So there's a great opportunity to have fun with this. And um, I mean, to memorize all of this information, you'd have to be a prodigy or just very committed to this project. But <laughs> it's great because the, the possibilities are endless. So for anybody watching who, I know these are available to schools, but because of our circumstances, you've made this available to just your correct. Every person, correct? Correct. Um you can call in. It is $50 and you get a 40 day access to the online programs. You'll get with that, you'll get um, the book and you can keep the book obviously. And then if you want to renew the program, it's, it's less ex and expensive because mm -hmm. you're not getting the book with it, but you'll get, okay. and you'll get some critters for kids cards to take along for your kids. And it's, it's really fun because you can take the cards outside and be like, Oh, I see the squirrel in my backyard or I see yes. a grasshopper and you know, I spy games and yes. the food pyramid and things like that. Definitely. Well, there's definitely a lot of potential here for all of us to learn as a family. Now I know people are interested. Where can we go for more information, Marissa? You can go to wildlifeandfocus.org. 
You can email me at Marissa, M-A-R-I-S-S-A, at wildlifeinfocus.org, or you can go to crittersforkids.org and check out, they have um, examples of the online program and stuff um, on the crittersforkids.org, and you can see exactly what it's all about. That's great, and for anyone who has the means to do so, this is an opportunity to sponsor this educational um, opportunity to the school that your child goes to, and it's something that mm -hmm. they in the future, but I love that you not only have the physical, the tangible objects, which we're losing grasp of with the rise of technology, yes. but you have all the internet things that we're so used to using these days. So lots exactly. of really resources, and we want to encourage you all to learn more about South Texas and our habitat, our creatures that we have here, and you can be that know-it-all person that can, you know, bring up random facts to your friends or have just the smartest kid around. We appreciate you so much, Marissa. Thank you for joining Thank you. And if you all are interested in it, should be sure to head to the website or send her an email so that we can get you all um, just a little bit more keen on all of wildlife here in South Texas. Thank you. There's so much to see and explore here in the Coastal Bend. We hope you all will get out and enjoy the outdoors and all the cute little creatures that are running around here. Now we have a fun show coming up today. We're going to have another senior spotlight celebrating our amazing graduating seniors who have been through a lot this year. And we want to do our part to celebrate their achievements. Plus we have your Coastal Living Daily Challenge and grab your sneakers because Jocelyn is going to make us we return on Coastal Living. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV, the only lifestyle show made in the Coastal Bend for the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.